In January 2008, the Virgin Islands Energy Office held a Wind Energy Workshop featuring speakers from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory and Wind Powering America. The event attracted over 200 residents and spawned the Virgin Islands Wind Working Group. That group is instrumental in forming the next workshop, which is to be held in the summer of 2010. The winds of change have blown through the Virgin Islands since the first workshop. In years preceding the first workshop, the Virgin Islands Energy Office was lucky to record the installation of one wind turbine per year in the Virgin Islands. In fiscal year 2008, the Virgin Islands recorded nine installations. There were at least seven installations in 2009, and in 2010, there may be as many installations as there were in 2008 and 2009 combined. On top of these residential installations, the Water and Power Authority, with guidance from NREL, is exploring the placement of utility-sized wind turbines on places like the Bovoni landfill, which follows our scenes from those winds of change. For update on when the so next when wind like the workshop best? will be held, watch the local newspaper and the VI Energy website at www.vienergy.org. Okay, that one's the Sky Scream, and what's this one called? Wind Sphere. Wind Sphere. The Virgin Islands Energy Office created a commercial cautioning residents that wind turbines will not be the solution for every resident. A wind turbine can be a great investment if you live in a windy area, like Point Udall, where the wind is usually strong and consistent. We're here at John Brewer's Beach right now, and you, as you can see, the wind resource is not available. Successful wind and solar energy projects are important to all of us. The Virgin Isles Energy Office is here to answer your questions on energy efficiency and renewable energy. Call us in St. Thomas, 774-3320-773-1082 on St. Croix, or visit our website. When this thing starts to spin, okay, there's a magnet on the bottom that, in here that's a shaft that goes up and connects to that top shaft. Okay? When this thing starts to spin, what happens is that magnet, and a magnet, I mean, we, you can't pull the magnets apart. But what happens is when it starts to spin, that magnet pushes it up and gets it up off the bearing and lets it spin even faster. So the technology of the lift technology with the airplane wing also work with, 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 with the magnetic push, you know, opposites on the mag magnet. The space in between there. That's the space in between. Because it's too hot to stand out here. Uh, I know you. Thank everybody for coming out. This is new technology that is, uh, is so critical to going forward with the green initiative that especially that the president has set out um uh, what uh, everybody thank you for coming in the heat uh senator hill uh mr abramson how you doing miss tremberg how are you Good morning, everyone. Uh, Senator Thurland, people from the VI Energy Office, you've done a fantastic job with us and with the people from the Virgin Islands. You've made what should be affordable energy even more affordable, and I'd like to applaud y'all for uh, for your efforts and your successes in, in making this making this possible. Mr. Smith, Ms. Thank Muller, you. Mr. Percy, um, thank you very much. Uh, with that, Mr. Richards. His name is Lewis Lester, uh, uh, one of the principals. And I'm Vargrave, everybody knows that. Uh, we just wanted to say that quickly before we get it up, that uh, we, we're so excited and, about this opportunity to finally take something up, literally up, and use our own wind and use our own solar. And I believe that the Virgin Islands should be in the forefront of all the energy initiatives. We're primed for it. The sun is right there. It's beating down on me as we speak. This, the wind is blowing. Uh, we should be in the forefront. I said something yesterday and I believe it. I was driving down in Fredericksted and I saw all those, the, the island is dotted with the old windmills. We're just returning to what we used to do. And frankly, the, uh, maybe the technology was always there, we, we left it and now we're returning to it. With that said, we're going to get this started by lifting it first and then we'll take questions and make comments. Thank everyone.